but I always try to infuse a sense of optimism. And one thing that I think, whether you have a business or a nonprofit, it must feel really good to everybody to be there or that they're, they're on a mission. And we are on a race to do our work and to go out of business, basically. We are on a in a race to eradicate death by breast cancer. And so everyone arrives uh, in, in our organization, so many people, I won't say everyone, I'm sure there's some people who don't feel this way, but I always say to people when they're coming to work for us, if you're coming to work for us to do a job, don't come. It, you won't like it. If you're coming to change the world and embrace a mission and, and have an experience that you money could never buy, then you're, you're, you're in the right place because we offer, we offer a mission, it's a personal attachment, it's an experience, and we get so much feedback and there's so much goodwill in our organization. That's the other thing, integrity. It is so important to embrace and it's so easy not to practice it. Everything will happen sometime. I always tell people, sometime in your life as a leader, there will be something that's so tempting to do that just steps over the line. And you know what? You just can't do it. You just can't do it. You'll get caught. You'll, you'll risk the uh, disaffection of the people who are with you. Um, you won't maybe get to your goal as fast as you'd like to, but when you get there, there will be a much different scenario and you will have people who felt that it was okay once in a while to fail but mostly to win and failure makes people stronger people have to be allowed to fail i don't like it i don't like it when people fail i don't like it when i do but everybody has to be given an opportunity and once once you do allow people to fail once in a while ten times nine times out of ten they will re-emerge stronger and stronger leaders and the other thing that we focus on is internal growth, organic growth. And I've really made a habit now of trying to say that to everyone, and then they believe it. We've promoted five senior vice presidents from within. Our new president, Liz Thompson, is from within. Katrina McGee is our new chief marketing officer. So that people understand if they work hard, if they produce, if they believe, and they want to do it, they will be promoted. We don't need, I hope no one's here from, we don't need to bring in teams of McKinsey people to tell us how to run our business. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I hope. One more minute. And I always like to give people, assess people carefully. Know who you're asking to do what job. And one thing I've learned is it's very important to assess people and match them up with the, the task you're asking them to do. You know, and that is, and then, and then enthusiasm and growth potential, nine times out of ten, will grow the most incredible leadership. That's all I know. I'm sorry. Thank you very, very much for being here tonight.